Hello folks, meet this nice big blue and white cow. This is her front left foot and if you look at this little footage she's quite awkward and clumsy on it. She needs our help so let's see how we can help her and make her more comfortable today. And if you haven't already, while I'm washing this foot, you could hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. So there's this front left foot of this cow that was really bothering her. So it just looks like it needs a trim. There's a few little marks in the white line there so maybe that's it's, it's, it's usually the usually the inside claw at the front that's causing cows the discomfort so I'm just checking out the outer claw it looks quite sound um, I'm wearing a nice shiny new pair of gloves the last ones that were very prone to ripping I ripped just before this cow came into the crush so these ones are a little bit stronger, seem to be a little bit, will stand a little bit more. And there we have, I haven't went too far. And that right there is what instant relief looks like. And there we have it, the reason for this cow's discomfort. This cow has an abscess here, you can see the darkish coloured coming, you can see the darkness coming through there under the hoof so that was built up in there causing her the discomfort so that there pretty much is an instant relief to this cow There's quite a large hole on that inner claw and because this cow's grazing in and out on pastures the hoof tends to be a little bit tougher so I'm going to take this down with the grinder. There's quite a bit to come off it because that hole is so deep in there so I'm going to lower that a little bit and most likely put on a block. These large pus filled cavities can be caused by a number of different things but they all link back to inflammation. For example in the warm weather, these cows tend to stand a little bit more to keep cool. While doing so, they put more pressure on their feet, causing inflammation. This inflammation causes a large amount of hoof to grow quickly, causing the hoof to be of lower quality. This low quality hoof horn that grows quite quickly is more susceptible to letting dirt and bacteria drive up the white line. When this bacteria gets in, to the hoof capsule, it can cause large abscesses, just like this one. This little mark on the white line is really nothing. As I'm going to demonstrate there, it's just trimmed out. So, put a few lines in this for the block. It's nice and clean. And I'm just going to dry it off with the blowtorch a little bit. Just gets rid of any moisture. And as I've said in other videos, the cow doesn't feel this. And on this foot today, I've opted for a slow wearing PP popcorny block, just because I like the smell of them, and also because this white line, sometimes these white lines can be a little bit slow to heal up. So I want this here to be a little bit slow wearing to allow the healing process to go all the way. So with the block setting, it's just a matter of deep riding out this here loose horn, which is actually quite sharp in this case. Um, from around that there, and as you know, if we if we let this cow out right now, she would get some relief. But this is all the process that we need to do in order for the cow to make a full recovery with proper healthy hoof. And that's what we want to do. So. We're going to put in that extra effort. I'm going to take 
take you, I'm gonna take you around here just to the other side of this crush, just to show you. This is the easiest angle. But this here is the white line here, and it's actually connected. It's coming out here. So all this here tough wall horn is gonna to have to come off. It's kind of a tricky angle to show you trimming from, but I'll do my best. So you can start to see the way this is tracking down here. It's very tough, it's really for the grinder this, but I want to be able to feel what I'm doing better, so I'm just going to use the knife here as best I can. We've tracked this down here. We've tracked this down here quite nicely. I don't know if you can hear the cow doing what she's doing there, but more of my head is at. It's a pretty risky place. But so far, so good. I've escaped getting any dirtier. I really do apologise for that camera angle. It's but the only time where a rollover crush would be useful because we have to kind of like stand on our head to get into those inside cracks but I'll show you as best I can and then I'll try and show you the finished article before I get the bandage on. This here also has got some dermatitis into it here just up at the top so that's going to slow down the healing process. That's why we need to clean this off, dry it and wrap it with some salicylic acid. And this area around here is quite soft so that's actually it may look like a little piece, piece of loose horn, but it's actually not. But sometimes when you're watching these videos, it can be hard to see what's what. That salicylic acid is a little bit more runny than normal because Gareth forgot to put the lid on it. And my beautiful assistant, well, maybe not beautiful, but my assistant for today is Brian. I don't think you've ever met Brian. Brian helps me one day a week, so let me introduce you. And the main reason we got Brian to come and work for us is to really keep manners and to put manners on Tom. And today it has worked because Tom's not even here annoying us. So thanks Brian. Let's get this little bluey tinged cow out of the crush and let her feel her newfound comfort. And off that little cow goes to join the rest of her friends. And I'm sure you'll agree you'll notice a little bit of difference there. She's just not bobbing up and down at the front the same as lame cows do when they're lame on front feet. So until next time, girl, we'll see you on your recheck. I don't even think she turned around to say goodbye. Nope, on she goes. Take care, folks. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you all in the next one. And hopefully, you'll tune in to see the recheck of that little cow. Take care, and see you all soon. that you are